Hello, Namaskar and Arbab to all my friends from your friend astrologer and guide Irfan once more with you from your very own channel Astro Assurance. When we are looking at a dasha which is coming upon us as to be good and we are awaiting good results, we are also wary about some challenging dashas which may be upon us and hence we are also preparing ourselves mentally. But do we really know that a certain dasha which is upon us a certain transit which is upon us will be a good transit, will be a good dasha and the so called tougher looking dasha will actually be the tougher looking one and why is it that some dashas while promising us good results don't turn out to be that way and end up sometimes giving us good results, sometimes even giving us disastrous results. The reason being is because we get too caught up in this thinking in this philosophy that whatever we face good or bad in this world is because of our purva punya or a purva karma which is a past karma and that too of our previous ending of past lives but is that the truth are all the challenges and all the goodies that we get in life only because of the purva punya or a past karma of our past lives alone and will all the goods or bads come upon us only because of past lives? How about a karma for this life itself? And there lies the key where many a times astrologers may go wrong because they don't know much about your karma in this life. An astrologer may tell you that this next coming dasha is a great dasha for you. This transit is very good for you. Good job, good marriage, good success in business, good time to launch a new venture and all that. And then you follow the astrologer's advice and that nothing happens. In fact, contrary to what the astrologer has said or contrary to your expectations. Why does that happen? I have seen in many horoscopes that a great dasha or supposed to be a great dasha of a strong Gajkesari Yoga, a very very strong Chandra Mangal Yoga or even a Durdara Yoga or a Lakshmi Yoga coming out to be very big duds and in fact creating more challenges. Deep down when I looked at those horoscopes where I went wrong and checked I realized and I also delved deeper especially with those clients who allowed me who and who are honest to tell me what mistakes they had done related to the dasha of the planet which is coming upon us in the last Antar Dasha and how in those transits they have made some mistakes also. It is not only your Purva Punya or your past karma which will give you good or bad results in this life but also your karma of this life itself. So if a Dasha of a Jupiter is upon you, a great Dasha of a Jupiter, exalted Jupiter in a great Yoga is upon you or coming forward that to see Jupiter in the Lagna, exalted in, in great yogas and all that and you are waiting Jupiter is also the biggest benefit. However, if you have made past mistakes in some of the important transits of Jupiter over your Lagna or important Kendras or important yogas then Jupiter will make you pay during its Dasha and in its, in, in its Antar Dasha and during its important transits which will be coming. So if you are assuming everything will be hunky dory because of a good dasha is upon you but in the antar dashas or the previous transits of that planet over important houses especially kendra houses or important yogas or doshas which have activated those if you have done anything wrong anything challenging to others fellow human beings then in fact that particular planet will make you pay in its own dasha rather than giving you great results. Hence, sometimes a great sun placed very well in your horoscope and you have started doing very very well may raise you to the heights and give you an opportunity. But if sun sees that you are not up to the task and in a dasha you didn't take the opportunity of helping others but you rose to name, fame, adulation to the heights of power yet you have misused those powers you have not helped others that during its important antar dasha or during its important transit over important signs important houses especially say for example sun is transiting over your lagna sun transits a sign only for a month so within that month 
sun will ensure that your downfall happens with one after the other events happening few days before or after the transit actually happening over that house eventually leading to your downfall or at least things will start during that transit and maybe end few months down the line but will ensure that you are completely pulled down especially if you have misused power if you have misused authority you have not been responsible you have not been accountable what will venus do venus will also rise you or help you rise to the top of name fame all sorts of assets to you all sorts of resources available to you and also company of beautiful people well to do people acclaimed people from around the society and of the opposite gender as well nothing will be untouched by your hands which you can lay your hands on and not available to you but if you misuse that particular planet's dasha or antar dasha then venus will also lead you to your downfall so i want to show you an example of a gentleman who the world loves to hate i have hardly come across anybody who you know likes any aspect on of him some aspects they may say this was good that was bad but holistically almost everybody loves to hate him that gentleman's name is adolf hitler i want to take you through his horoscope and important events in his life where venus which was both the lagna lord also the nakshatra lord and place in important placements have led him eventually to both his rise in life from time to time giving him now opportunity but from time to time also punishing him or giving a warning sign and ultimately leading to his death during its period so let's jump into the horoscope of adolf hitler and see how various events in his life have been around venus which was both his dagna lord as well as his nakshatra lord so adolf hitler's life and horoscope for you now this is the horoscope of adolf hitler if you see his ascendant is that of libra ruled by venus and venus is placed in the sign of aries in conjunction with sun mars and mercury because of a degree difference between venus and sun where venus is 24 degrees and sun is 8 degrees there is a big difference of almost 16 degrees and hence venus is also not combusted and in fact very very strong secondly venus is placed in the nakshatra bharani in its own nakshatra however venus is placed in the fourth pada of bharani and what is the fourth pada of bharani the fourth pada of bharani is the sign of scorpio or the navamsa of scorpio so just remember this because of which in the navamsa chart if you see venus mars and ketu all three are placed in scorpio here venus and mars and ketu's placement in the sign of scorpio is very very important secondly you will see that both his birth nakt his birth horoscope as well as navamsa horoscope ascendants are virgo tama which means both of them are of libra moon is placed in the nakshatra of purvashara which is also ruled by venus so venus is both his lagna lord venus is also his eighth lord and venus is also his nakshatra lord his ascendant is in the nakshatra of chitra ruled by mars this is another very important factor his nakshatra lord is venus because of moon being placed in the nakshatra of purvashara his ascendant which is libra the specific degree lies in the nakshatra of chitra ruled by mars and in his navamsa chart mars venus and ketu are placed together in the sign of scorpio and scorpio is the navamsa on the navamsa in which venus lies within the sign of aries in the nakshatra of bharani in the fourth pada now hitler in the year 1919 because of his service to germany was also decorated for his service and this was during his service for his country germany during the first world war this happened during the moon and saturn dasha and antar dasha and moon is placed in the nakshatra of purvashada ruled by venus so venus being an important contributing factor here 
helped him to gain fame and also getting decorated for a service to his country to his fatherland and from there on he rose politically forming his own party also and in fact he tries to see he tried to seize power in germany and hence he was also jailed for 5 years in the year 1923 this was during the moon and venus dasha and antar dasha so his nakshatra lord venus also gets him decorated but in its own antar dasha venus also punishes him by sending him to jail for 5 years however within the same antar dasha of moon venus he also gets released from jail within a year so venus also helps him get out of jail giving him another opportunity why because venus is both his nakshatra lord as well as his lagna lord but because venus also rules the 8th house and placed in the 7th house that too with mars and sun and mercury sun is in a exaltation sign so it activates his need for power for authority and with aggression and hence trying to seize power through a coup however venus because it is the nakshatra lord prevents him from doing any unjust act and also jails him however also frees him within a year and this is also important because venus is retrograde and very very powerful three times powerful so venus being the lagna lord being the nakshatra lord and also retrograde three times powerful rides over the power of almost any other entity in his horoscope including that of the sun which is in which is in its exaltation sign now in the year 1933 in his rahu rahu period rahu dasha and antar dasha he rises to become the chancellor of germany now rahu is in the sign of gemini in the nakshatra punarvasu ruled by jupiter however jupiter itself is in the nakshatra purvashada ruled by venus however rahu and mercury both in his navmansh chart are in the 8th house in the sign of taurus and taurus sign is ruled by venus and hence during his rahu rahu period he rose to become the chancellor of germany so here venus again helps him rise to the top of the echelon rewards him however in the year 1939 in the rahu mercury period he invades poland now care to see that mercury is in the aries sign but in the nakshatra of ashwini but second pada which is the second pada ruled by the second pada of ashwini is the sign of taurus or the navmans or the navamsa of taurus ruled by venus and hence in the rahu mercury period when he invades poland he again agitates venus so venus allows him again to use his power to exert his right however he also faces multiple threats to his life but he is saved by the skin of his teeth again venus warning him that that a more drastic future awaits him if he does not learn however hitler doesn't pay heed to any of the zodiac signals to him and ultimately in the year 1941 he invades the whole of europe and also makes plan to invade russia however in the same dasha and antar dasha of rahu and mercury not only does he invade whole of europe and ussr but he also kills millions of jews an estimate is almost close to 3 million jews or more and countless lives or all millions of lives lost during the war and he also causes the dreaded holocaust but venus makes him pay for his actions and in 1945 in his rahu venus period venus also gets him married to his long time lover eva braun on the 29th of april 1945 however his marriage is short lived because within a day he and his wife eva braun also commits suicide with a bullet to his head why bullet to his head if you see in the navman chart venus mars and ketu all placed together and rahu is placed in the 8th house in the sign of taurus ruled by venus venus itself along with mars and ketu is in the scorpio sign which has the 8th house energies and 
in this lagna chart also venus rules the eighth house and is placed in a conjunction with mars and under the fifth aspect of ketu as well as the 10th aspect of saturn and saturn aspects venus with its 10th aspect in the lagna chart and saturn aspect the lagna with its 10th aspect in the navmans chart and mars helps the punishment because mars rules the nakshatra of chitra which is the ascendant nakshatra ruler and venus ultimately punishes him in spite of being the both the lagna lord and the nakshatra lord and having given him a rise to fame name and power and influence and even getting him married to his lover during its dasha or antar dasha or during important phases of other antar dashas of planets which were placed in the nakshatra of venus so friends on the face of it when you look at such lives and you can look at countless lives of such people who have got huge ups and downs in their lives you will always see that a certain planet especially if it's the lagna lord or the nakshatra lord or having an important yoga or dosha in the person's horoscope will give the person huge name fame rise power prosperity everything however many times if you misuse the power the influence that the planet has given you, you don't stick to your karma you don't stick to your duty you move boundaries out of ethical boundaries out of ethical reasons why you're born you forget the purpose of life then the planet will as a reminder give you challenges give you problems in its dasha antar dasha and during its important transits and the same thing happened with hitler too venus mars and mercury all were transiting toward the sign of pisces which constitutes the 12th house at the time of his death and moon was transiting through the sign of scorpio which in their navman shot is where is where mars venus and ketu were placed together so during its Rahu and Venus Dasha and Antar Dasha, it got him married, got him killed and also during an important transits when moon is involved and over the nakshatra, over the sign of Scorpio and the ascendant nakshatra is of Chitra ruled by Mars and Venus has 8000 energies both in the Lagna chart by virtue of ruling Taurus and Rahu and Mercury are placed in the sign of Taurus in his Navman chart. So, you will see that when you look into your own horoscopes also, the time of good rises in your life, good successes in your life and also challenges in your life, the same planet which has many a times rewarded you may also have been involved in your downfall, in your challenges and your issues. It is not that it will always be involved. Sometimes a bad dasha may actually be something which, pull, which pulls you down, a malefic may be pulling your, you down, a dosha may also be pulling you down, important transits of others may also be pulling you down. However, if a planet has given you very good results, it may intervene or not allowing the other challenges to come upon you unless it feels you deserve that downfall, you deserve that loss and hence you will find that that planet also is either transiting over your lagna or important signs or is involved in some way in the aspect or in conjunction with the dasha or antar dasha of the planet which has given you that ultimately downfall and the challenges and the problems. So friends, don't let your guard down. Don't assume only your purva punya or purva karma is what will give you challenges or issues or good results or bad results. Your karma of this life will also affect what good results you get, what prosperity you get or your downfalls may happen and may even get you killed. So, understand your horoscope very very well, keep on the right path, keep on the ethical path, serve humanity, if not for doing anything, not for doing anything related to humanity or purpose of life, but at least to serve you better and to get you a better life to live. So friends, like this video, share this video and if you are looking for a personal consultation for me, please reach out to me, the link is given below. Till some other time with some other video, this is your friend Astrologer and Guide Irfan signing off.